Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is May 10th, 2023, and today we made ham radio contact with a Delta Airlines flight en route from Detroit, Michigan to Seattle Tacoma International Airport. The captain on board is a ham radio buddy, and we arranged a schedule. I attempted to contact him on uh, multiple bands uh, at a few different times during his flight, and we finally made good, solid contact on uh, line of sight contact on 10 meters on 28.400. So this uh, video is gonna show my ham radio setup at home, and uh, it'll also show you the uh, QSO that we conducted on that flight today at approximately 1300 local time, Pacific daylight time. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. We sure had a blast doing it, and I'm glad to have finally gotten my first ground to air mobile contact in the logbook. Now I made contact earlier with the flight and we were using at that time 20 meters, but his signal was very, very weak and uh, not really captured very well on the audio on the GoPro camera. So I'm not gonna include that part in the video, but what you are gonna see here is I've got uh, FlightAware displayed on my computer, which shows his flight, shows the altitude flight path and uh, estimated time of arrival and all that good stuff, including his, uh, his uh, flight number. Um, I forgot that on the screen as I was talking to him and in the end we ended up working line of sight on 10 meters. So just before he began his descent into SeaTac Airport, uh, we were able to make successful contact on 28.400 and uh, he had quite a good signal and it actually improved all the way up to 5.9 and he, he copied me as also 5.9. Uh, so anyway, the experiment was really cool because we got to uh, evaluate the effects of SkyWave um, from an airplane operating, in his case, at 34,000 feet or 30,000 feet when we made our HF contact uh, using uh, SKIP and now line of sight. So in the end, in today at least, based on conditions, the line of sight worked best. So we'll begin with our contact on 10 meters. Hope you enjoy it. Alpha, India 7, Romeo, Papa, Whiskey 7, Norway, Yankee. How copy? Also have you four by seven. This is the best copy we've had yet. Four by seven, AI seven, Romeo Papa, W seven N Y. Are you on your descent now? Okay. Do you have a couple of minutes to talk before you? Uh, Get into the heavy workload. Okay, that's awesome. How many miles out are you right now, over? Okay, 185 uh, nautical miles, copy that. And uh, what is your present altitude, over? And present altitude is 34,000 feet. We're just passing south of the town of Wilbur, Whitney, India, Lima, Morado, Uniform, Borromeo, Wilbur, Washington. Okay, copy, Wilbur, Washington. Your signal came up. You are now five and seven, solid five, seven, over. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so this 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 really worked out well. The line of sight um, really was the key to our to our best contact today. I did, as I said, get you earlier, but it was really really tough to pull you out on 20 meters. Um, but but right now you're you're rock solid and and improving uh, as you get closer. Over. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's it's really rare, you know, to be able to work a line of sight contact on HF. I mean, most most people obviously use it when they're you know doing SkyWave skip stuff. But anyway, this is working out super super well, and I'm really pleased to get my first contact into an airplane from a ground station. Over. Yeah, I was very uh, I was pleased to have the opportunity to do so after a 
saw your channel. I was, uh, that was a big, big goal of mine to give you that first opportunity once I was able to uh, get enough experience to uh, understand how our radio worked and, and get a few contacts under myself. But yeah, once I uh, once I had that uh, underway and I was able to make contact with you, uh, I was happy to give you that opportunity. So, yeah, Roger, Roger, uh, AI7, Romeo Papa, Whiskey7, Norway Yankee, you're even getting better now. Your signal is coming up almost 5.9. Got you at 5.7 in the log, but I'll change that to a 5.9 here if it improves before you start your descent and get into your uh, heavy workload there. And Whiskey7 New York, I'll maybe a 7 for Romeo Papa. Yeah, the, the uh, first officer and I have... Uh, coordinated our duties and we, we prepared ourselves to briefing beforehand so I have about six more minutes and then I'm, uh, I'll have to sign off but uh, up until then we're, uh, we're pretty much hands free. Uh, they have uh, what's called CPDLC which is where the air traffic control controls us via uh, messages that go to our computers so they, they don't even talk to us now. Yeah, Roger, Roger. And by the way, I got you at 5'9", five, 5'9". Nine, five, nine. You're going in the log as 5'9". Uh, um, have I improved as well? Over. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe you're a little bit off tune on the sideband, so it sounds a little bit squirrely, but man, your, your audio sounds really, really good and kind of excited about uploading this uh, onto uh, my YouTube channel this evening. So the plan for me is uh, we're gonna fly out probably about 3 p.m.-ish to uh, Friday Harbor and uh, just walk around downtown there, hang out a little bit and then have dinner. So I'm planning on doing some ham radio contacts, probably both directions. And at least one of the directions, I'll probably go ahead and, and start and you know, record it on, on GoPro cameras. So that way, if you're able to talk into the airplane, I'll get you, uh, I'll get you on the YouTube uh, upload. Hey, there you are. Alpha India 7, Romeo Papa, W7MYR Mobile, go ahead. And Alpha India 7, Romeo Papa, hey, W7NY, got you loud and clear, picked you up just copy, you're five and nine. You're, you're breaking up a little bit, but I got you. I still got 100% copy. I, I did copy that you have me five nine, and I'm super glad that you were able to jump on. Uh, I was, we're running out of time. I only have uh, nine minutes before we're back at Tacoma Narrows, over. Catch your line of sight. I was, uh, but I have a good, sh I have a pretty straight shot from uh, from the house up to uh, Port Orchard. So I figured I'd catch you once you came past Bremerton. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so uh, you probably just heard me say to the other uh, station, that WA7RJS, that in the, in the same day I was able to work you in the airplane, and, and you're working now me into the airplane in, in one day. I, I bet there are many uh, uh, times that that has happened in ham radio experience. <laughs> So I don't think that happens too much. Yeah, super awesome. And your signal's improving as we get a little bit closer. Uh, we're just coming up on the Purdy Bridge, and I think uh, while well, the uh, let's see, the tower's closed. Yeah, tower's been closed for 45 minutes. So I'll, a little bit here, I'll make my calls to traffic. Uh, you have a good flight. Did you have a good flight today from Detroit over? Yeah, it was a fantastic. Flight. Full day today, so this is to get over Seattle. It's just been spectacular. Looks like you guys had a uh, flight today as well. Oh yeah, it was totally awesome, and I don't know if you were monitoring, but we we flew over a pot of whales. I got that recorded. Probably about six to eight orcas in formation and a V formation right there in Friday Harbor. So I was a little bit high. So ho hopefully I can uh, get some good video out of that. And uh, then there was a two ship F-18 formation flew in front of us. Uh, into Whitby Island as we're going that away. So lots of good stuff on the cameras today, over. Yeah, good copy. Nothing quite like formation flying. It's maybe the most fun stuff I've done other than sort of solo formations. That's, uh, that's kind of unparalleled, but it's been 20 years. I do miss that kind of stuff. But yeah, great stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing your video tonight. And I do appreciate you getting me on the radio today. Oh, absolutely. And uh, if you do get a chance, if you could uh, give me a, uh, put that on your Google Drive and, and you know send me the link and 
That way I can finish putting together at least the, uh, the ham radio contact we did today, that part of it. I should be able to finish that today because that's that was a pretty short video. So anyway, that would be awesome. Maybe you've already done it. I don't know. I uh, hope you had a good dinner out uh, with the wife this evening on your way back. That was a nice surprise for you on your way back from uh, SeaTac. Over. Yeah, good copy. Yeah, it was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting it, but uh, she was uh, she was kind enough to come surprise me with that. And uh, we had a good evening, and it's, uh, it's always nice to kind of finish up the day, finish up a trip with uh, some time with the with the spouse. So. Anyhow, uh, great talking to you today, and uh, I'll uh, get you that video. I should have that uploaded to you, if not tonight, first thing tomorrow. And uh, it's uh, just my descent and arrival in from uh, from once we finished our QSO all the way down into landing. And, uh, two times. Mobile heading northbound I-5, four miles south of Ericsville, calling CQ. Okay, Stefan, good uh, talking to you. I'm going to start making my radio calls down there to traffic. Uh, I can see Tacoma Narrows off the nose now. so. I'll begin my descent into there, and uh, I'll catch you later. You're being recorded right now, so you'll be on this uh, this recording. I'll probably upload this on the during the weekend, I think. So, anyway, have a good one. Uh, Alpha India Seven Romeo Papa Whiskey Seven Norway Yankee Air Mobile Seventy Three, and we'll catch you later. Yep, thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Um. So anyway, it's always cool to hear your audio into the airplane. Are you, by the way, recording this? Have you downloaded the uh, Flight Link app over? Yeah, they're, they're the uh, four flight weather showing, um, you know, clear, uh, the sky's clear above 12,000. So usually when I fly in there, I go through the Whippy Island Clash Charlie just to kind of keep the airplane over land as long as possible before I descend in. So I'll be doing the transition through Whippy. And uh, usually I get off, you know, I stop doing the ham radio stuff once I reach out to those guys. But uh, plenty of time to get on the air both directions over. Oh, that's so totally awesome. Uh, AI7RPW7NY, the glider piece. Uh, always been very fascinated uh, by that. Their guy in the hangar next to mine is a glider pilot. He actually has a glider that's powered. It's got a uh, engine that, I think it's a German-made glider. You may be familiar with it, I'm not, but it has an engine that pops out so he can take off under power and then it just folds back into the fuselage and then he can glide the remainder of his flight over. Yeah, that's uh, that's super cool. Always, always very fascinated by that. It takes a great deal of skill too, understanding um, understanding winds, particularly in, in and around the mountains and that sort of thing. But very, very cool stuff. 
Well, uh, uh, listen, uh, Stefan, it was great to, to make contact with you from the air. I know you're getting ready to get into your descent phase there, so I'll leave you alone so you can do your thing. But uh, I'm super excited about the contact and about uploading this onto the uh, YouTube channel. So uh, anyway, I sure appreciate it. Uh, Ham Radio never loses its fascination. Always something new, even after doing this for uh, over 40 years on my end. So anyway, uh, I'll uh, pass it over to you for your final there. And uh, looking forward to possibly talking with you on the air from my airplane this afternoon. AI-7R PW-7NY. Yeah, good luck with you today. I appreciate it. Okay, awesome. We'll see you later. Thanks again. 73, this is W7NY. Off and clear. Now that was super cool. There's his airplane right there. Estimated arrival time 128. It is now 108 p.m. Uh, so we can see this very well. I don't know, but there's SeaTac. That's their uh, present location at 30. They're still at 34,000 feet, getting ready to descend. So I thought I'd leave them alone so we can start focusing on all that good stuff. And we just made contact with them line of sight on 28.400. And that is why Ham Radio is so cool. Thanks uh, for watching, and we'll see you next time.